girl Ty and today I'm doing my first review video and guess what happened yesterday was the season premiere of Raven's Home and if you don't know what that is it's the spin-off of That's a Raven and I've been looking forward to it since like last year and it finally came on and it's like oh my gosh I'm so happy like Raven is back on Disney we have Annalise like Raven and Chelsea are back together. I'm so happy. It was so funny. And I'm just like, yes, my childhood. Like, I've been reading comments on their Disney Channel Instagram. And people say they were laughing and crying because it just kick up your, your inner, you know, your inner childhood. Like, your feelings and your inner feelings and everything. It throws you back. Like, now, here's the thing. The theme song is different, of course. And I think it's a bit longer. Also, in the end, instead of her, well, spoiler alert, actually, in the end, instead of saying, yep, that's me, she actually says, yep, that's us. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. She's all grown up now. And like, OMG, like, this is happening. And so, like, the first episode came on, and I'm just like, in shock because it's like, it's so real. Raven's there. Chelsea's there. They're living together. I mean, they have kids. Well, Ch Ra well, Ch well, Chelsea has one kid. Raven has twins. And it's so funny. Like, and they just, they kept Raven's permission. I'm so happy because I had a feeling, like, I was like, okay, what if Disney delete, you know, forget about her whole permission thing, like, her psychic moment. And they didn't. And I'm so happy. Now, the thing to me, now the theme song is not that catchy as it was back in the day when we used to watch it. That's a Raven. But I can, I can get the hang of it once I hear it more and more because, you know, that was season one, episode one. And for me personally, I was, when I was watching, I was like, okay, this isn't that funny. Maybe it'll get funny, but once you really watch it and like when it gets at least to me, Towards, like, the middle of the show, it got more and more funnier, and I was just like, oh my goodness. Like, the characters, the two main characters, Chelsea and Raven, are still the same. Same old Raven, same old ditzy Chelsea, you know. And this time, kids are at it. Now, on to the children. The way how Disney did it, well, my expectations versus reality, I thought maybe Nia, Booker, and Levi would be just like your parents. They're not. Booker, want, he needs attention, so he comes up with lies. I'm going to know we're saying Justin Timberlake and Bruno Mars stole his dance moves. Nia, on the other hand, is independent, which is fine. Levi, he's nothing like Chelsea. He's not a, he's not ditzy. He's not a klutz or nothing. Chelsea, on the other hand, still the same. She burnt, she burnt the toaster. I don't know how you burn a toaster. I mean, you're making toast, but okay. And so, like, they didn't have their premonitions yet because they don't know nothing about it. Their mother never told them that she's psychic. Like, she keeps it as her mommy's superpower. But Booker is the first one to have his, per his premonitions. Obviously, his sister doesn't believe it. Now, for me, I think, like, he should have had at least three... Permonitions? Maybe I'm asking you too much. But also, I feel like why is like I actually how do what well, actually how it comes not how it comes on, but like the photos of it is like this girl. Her name is Tess. She turns out to be the neighbor. So I'm thinking Chelsea has two kids and Raven has two. But Levi's her only kid, and Tess is just a neighbor that lives right across the hall from their apartment. And so I'm like, oh, okay. I thought that was... But, you know, we didn't know, but we expect... I, I'm not sure if I'm the only one, but I expected Chelsea to have two kids, which is fine. I think one is enough, even though he's not a handful, because Chelsea's a handful. So Levi's character is more of the adult towards Chelsea, because... She's a klutz and everything. What Disney did do was Raven's catchphrase. It's like, 
I hope they add more because she was like, oh, snap. And I was like, oh, my goodness, that touched me right in my childhood feeling. So maybe they'll do a couple more because that's uh, that's iconic and that's that's Raven. So I'm hoping they do more of that and maybe have her parents on there and her brother and maybe Eddie comes back. I don't... I don't know if Eddie will have a child or not. And I'm hoping, like, maybe, it, for me, I hope it'll get more funnier over the seasons. I'm not saying it wasn't funny, but like I said in the beginning, I wasn't really too thrilled. But over, the, over that one episode, it did get more funny for me. And I hope they do more, like, I'm not saying it has to be exactly like that, so Raven. But I'm hoping, like, more catchphrases and stuff take us back to our childhood. It's really good. I like that. And it would get, I think it might get more views. I mean, let's hope they stick, they make it to season two and stick it out. Because it's, it's I feel like it's going to be a really good show that it actually gets, like, another season. And that all depends on how many people like it, dislike it, view it not watch it at all but yeah i think it's gonna be a really good show it's your childhood mixed with something new as raven has kids chelsea have a son something good for the younger generation who would never watch just that's so raven or wasn't even born overall it was a good show like i said i didn't get much laughs but eventually i did because i wasn't too afraid to begin and that's my honest opinion off of me you might really enjoy it you might not. I don't know unless you watch it. If you want to watch it, you can check it out. It doesn't kill nobody. It's a really good show of Raven's Home. I'm glad they finally did a spinoff. I'm glad they kept the same two characters. I enjoyed it. So, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already. And share with people. Comment below your thoughts on this video. And don't forget to comment below or your thoughts on Raven's Home because I want to know your opinion, your review. Did you like the theme song? Did you not like it? How do you think about Raven's character still being the same and Chelsea's? What do you think about the kids' characters? Do Should they be more funny? Should they whatever, blah, blah, blah. What do you think about Booker not telling his mom that he has first premonition? Yeah, I'm going to respond back to your comments. I want to read what you guys thought about this show and what do you think about my first review video. I'm going to keep making more reviews. I'm going to keep updating. So yeah, that's it. This is the little black girl trying to make it big in this world and I'm going to keep updating as much as I can. Bye guys!